Good morning. I'm going to introduce you here into how to quickly and easily configure a Kodak Alaris series scanner with the free included Smart Touch application to scan into OneDrive or the front point for SharePoint Online. Now this can actually be achieved very, very quickly and easily. So as a prerequisite, I've installed my scanner and I've installed the um, Smart Touch software and now I'll show you how to configure it. If we go down to the bottom toolbar, we can see the Smart Touch application with a 2080W scanner connected. Right click it, if I go to configure, and I have a number of tasks up here that are already pre-built. But let's say that I want to do a new one, and I'm going to call it uh, um, SharePoint One OneDrive. I could choose another icon, but I'll stick with this same one. And I want to put into their PDF documents into here and it's actually going to be SharePoint Online. The wizard will now guide me through it. So the site, I have already copied this from my browser bar, which is the site I want to actually send this to. So here's my on there, and I can put in my username. And it will actually pre-check all of these so that I know that it's working. There we go. It goes on there. So now it's looking, it's bringing up my SharePoint account. I can look at there and I can see the items underneath it. So I want to scan into documents, but more specifically for this particular task, I'm a remote worker. So what I want to do is scan into this folder that's set up. So this could be a corporate folder. It could be my own folder and it's bringing those documents into here. I'm a remote worker, so I want everything prefixed so people know where it's coming from. I don't want to name the file. I want it to automatically put in a date and sequence number in there, which is absolutely fine. And the only thing that I want to do now is choose this to be a black and white document because I want to preserve bandwidth. So here we have it all automatically set up. Select those. You'll notice I took the tick out of that name to file. It's just so that I don't get prompted while I'm running and I don't want any settings displayed prior to scanning. Of course, if I wanted to, I could edit the images. I could wait for more documents to be added if I had more paper than the input hopper could hold. I could add keywords into there. I could do some basic separation from blank sheets for multi-page mail documents, or I could separate by a barcode. But for now, this is just showing the principle of bringing them in. So I'll apply this, OK it. And now you can see I'm actually in my OneDrive site with scan from remote. I go to my scanner. I select on the color screen here the, the actual workflow that I want to enter. So the one that I just created is SharePoint OneDrive. Place my documents in. You'll hear the scanner start. Press go. And you can see I get a preview on the screen of what I'm actually scanning. They've gone into there. They are now being transferred down in the corner. You notice that I've got successfully uploaded one point file to SharePoint online. It's named it as I want it to. So Oxford office a date and a sequence number. And if I open this, you can see here is my, it's my document four page document that I've actually scanned in. So that really for all of those of you who are now working at home, but need to scan documents back to the office. If you have a SharePoint or OneDrive site, you can see here that this can be quickly and easily set up within literally 30, 40 seconds and you're away and running and scanning back into SharePoint or OneDrive, which virtually all organizations have. It means you've now got the versioning control and capabilities of SharePoint and you're back into that corporate network rather than just emailing and scanning files to people and asking them to upload them. So it really is a valuable tool for access um, into scanning into SharePoint quickly and easily without actually really needing IT involvement to set up. You could actually just send out an email with instructions on what to do and have home workers do that remotely. So I hope that's of interest to you. Quick and easy setup, share it amongst people and any questions, please contact your Alaris uh, account manager. Thank you very much.